I'm just going to reduce your piece of cheese so that it's not greater than the maximum opening of my mouth. <laughs> Recently, James May set me a bit of a challenge. We had been having one of our weekly arguments about, you know, ketchup, tea and coffee, and then it got on to chutneys and pickles. Apparently, James May thinks that people who make their own chutneys and pickles are complete tossers, and that Branston's is the only acceptable option. So, as a James May certified complete tosser, I think I need to have a bit of a chat with him about this. Um, I don't, don't think I said tosser, and I wouldn't call you a tosser. James doesn't believe that anything is superior to Branston pickle. Nobody can make a pickle or a chutney that's as good as Branston pickle, so why bother? But I quite often like to make my own chutneys and pickles to go with whatever I'm cooking. So, I've made James a couple of chutneys to see whether they can get anything close to Branson Pickle. There's two different ones, and so we're gonna see today whether it's good enough for James May. I'm assuming the answer is probably gonna be no. No. Because he is a big Branson fan, as you may well be aware. So we're gonna make him the world's most simple cheese board of a chunk of cheddar with the two chutneys, and we can see how it goes down. And in the interest of social distancing, I'm going to leave him to it. So we've got two, <laughs> two absolutely enormous chunks of cheddar. So this one is kind of a bit like a ploughman's chutney. So it's got loads of veg in there, lots of vinegar, spices, allspice, cinnamon, cloves, etc. It's kind of got a bit of everything. The only caveat with this one is, is that it's basically not going to be ready for the next three months. <laughs> which um, I'm going to put some on there today, but I think it might be a little bit kind of harsh, vinegary. But you know, it's going to mellow out, so this could be the longest running challenge yet. And the second one, I've tried to do my best to make it as Brunston-like as possible. I mean, I feel like it's not going to match it for James, but you never know. The colour's definitely better and closer to the real deal, but we will see. Can't be right next to James at the moment because of the joys of social distancing. So I am going to leave the bunker, invite James in, and see what he thinks of my chutneys. It's chutney time, James. Chutney time. Hello, viewers. Socially distanced James here, and we have Rachel's chutneys. This one is this one. That's not actual Branston, is that this? Where's the real Branston in this? There is no real Branston right now. Okay said Rachel, two and a half metres away. Which one should I do first? Um, I go for the one on your right, and the lighter one. What is it? It's a kind of ploughman's type chutney. So it's got loads of veggies in there, uh, loads of different spices. Um, it's not actually going to be properly ready for three oh, really months. Go. I know it sounds like an excuse, but please try again in three months time. And then we'll see how you feel about it. Okay. Here we go, is everybody ready? The world's Has it got a name? May's Chutney. What if it is actually nicer than Branston, or even as nice as Branston? In three months' time. If my prejudices <laughs> will have all been destroyed. I feel it's going to take a while to get through that cheese. <laughs> oh my god, if I nearly killed James May. Why did you cut bloody great doorstops and cheese? Why didn't you just. Not bad, that Rachel Hogg. Ooh. I'm going to be ready though with, with a slightly small piece. part of Rachel's brick o cheese. This next one, you've tried to make this look like Branson, I think, because it's the same colour, it's a very similar yeah, texture, same shininess. Yeah, some treacle and stuff in to kind of imitate the colour of near, near to Branson's. Does this have a name? Bim's Chutney. <sighs> this is not going well, it's not going well. I do need to, as usual, clear my palate with a small piece of cheese just to make sure that the, the taste of May's chutney is completely gone before I experience Bim's chutney. I mean if you've got, if you could give me, throw me a ball, like some better name suggestions, I'd really appreciate it. A hundred pound chutney we could call it. Is there a bet on this? Is there, I thought the bet was on bananas and custard. You can make two bets. Hmm? You put a hundred on both. Did I? Okay, here we go. Bim's chutney trying to be Brownston. I'm just going to reduce your piece of cheese so that it's not greater than the maximum opening of my mouth. 
August 2021. There is £100 on this. I'm sorry if I seem to be labouring the point a bit, but, you know, I'll either get to go out for the next week or I have to stay in. Bims Chutney, Real Branson Pickle. But Rachel's chutney is better than Brown's bollocks. Bollocks. That's really fantastic. That really, that one's a bit. Uh, oh, okay. It needs a three months. You know. Yeah. That's excellent. That's got very, it's very, very deep and slightly syrupy and almost, it almost has a. Um, it almost has a sort of brandy or fortified wine quality to it. That's very, very good. I'm not just saying this because I'm trying to be nice to Rachel. What do you think makes it better than Branson's? Well, I just thought the Branson seemed slightly thin afterwards. This this tastes aristocratic, almost. It's it's dark. It's dark and brooding. You don't like cheese, Lucy Brown, but you like cheese, Tom Whitten. Yeah. And you like pickle. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come in for a second opinion? I'm not allowed in, but um, if I go out, okay. I've got because I'm, I'm. I want this on the record. I'm. I, I expect you to come in here and be quite cruel and say no. Stop wasting my time. It's fantastic. I'll have to go and get the hundred quid. So this is Rachel's chutney. It's really good. Now I'm going to try Bim's. Pickle would have been chutney. A lot more vinegary, that one, actually. It's half as old. I like them both. Branston. It's Branston. It just tastes like Branston. It's very good. It's impossible to tell. It's really, really very similar. If I had to choose, I quite like the first one, actually. Oh, fabulous. We'll wait till another three months ago. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. How can you be somebody who puts tomato ketchup on roast beef? Would you put tomato ketchup on roast beef and Yorkshire pudding? Yes. You would. But then have the artistry and sensitivity to produce a chutney that good. With buffalo. In return for the hundred quid that I know of you, can I have the remainder of that pot at least? Of course you can. And you have to keep the other one for months. I can go in the bug out bunker fridge and I will set an alert for three months' time. <laughs> Perfect. And we'll pile down here and find that the cheese has all gone off. My conclusion, I'm reading slightly from that because my argument about homemade pickle and chutney, I've been bashing that one out for a good, it's well over two decades, and I've always been right until now. People's homemade chutneys aren't as good as Branston, but you can't refuse them because that would be rude and therefore your lunch is ruined. But if you happen to go to Rachel Hogg's house and she says, oh no, you must try my homemade Bim's chutney, do. I'm going to have to retract all those opinions. Well, it's nice to be wrong. It's nice to know that the world moves on and the new generation is here to surprise us and bring new goodness and greatness to the world. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the idea that I'm obsolete. And I do get a jar of chutney out of it. Like, comment, subscribe. Cut. Mm, very good.